Hello everybody, I'm not having a good day, but I'm not going to spew that negativity on you guys because I told you guys I would let you guys know that, you know, whether I'm feeling good or not feeling good and today I am not feeling good, but I will not spew all my negativity onto you guys, but <sighs> we left off here. I was just looking through this. I did not mean to click on Mina. I'm glad I didn't do anything. Uh, where we got back to our um, cottage. I keep saying cottage and it's a hotel room. Our hotel room after we then investigated and searched and all the other stuff. So if you are new here and this is your first video you saw of me, I recommend going back and rewatching it. Even if you don't rewatch me, there are a couple of other YouTubers that have played this. Go ahead and rewatch them. Um, or and you know catch up to me although keep in mind that everybody's playthrough is a little different and uh consider hitting the subscribe button uh like button follow all that good stuff having finished dinner i returned to my room phew oh god <laughs> that scared me as always my first order of business is cozying up under my blanket this is the only moment of the day where i can catch my breath it's important to give oneself a break every now and then. <sighs> Everything about this place sucks. I limit and audibly vent my frustration into my blanket. While lying down, a face pops into my mind. It is that of her. <sighs> Who I've met here and helps heal. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. Hmm. I wonder why I'm thinking of her specifically. Is it because I think she's the human? Or is it just a sign of me having grown attached to her? Hmm. Come to think of it, there's been a third murder. I'm sure that considering the circumstances, I could appear suspicious in their eyes as well. It is important to figure out who the human is. But building trust with that person is a paramount to my survival. I stand up. I should spend the rest of the evening with her. So I'm guessing they're giving me a chance to go and, oh God, I could do Sumi. I, I only literally have one, but I'm scared because you see she's the monster. Not one, I have two uh, of her things. I'm counting, every time I go and visit them, for some reason, these little strips right here pop up on the side of their name. As you see, she has three. She has three, she has two, and she has two. But I, I, because she is the monster of fear and one of the killers, you know, monster of fear, but this is a school, but this is where she was though. As I said, I don't know. It could be Sumi, maybe, I don't know. And then this is deception and then this is deception. And again, it could be, it could very well not be her at all. I could go hang with Sumi. I guess I could hang with Sumi. Hmm. There's absolutely no trust with Sumi whatsoever. Uh, yeah. Let's let's see the Ren or Sumi. Hmm. Ren or Sumi. Ren or Sumi. I think I'm gonna choose Sumi. Because uh, what is hers? Yeah. Monster of Deception. God, this can go bad. I really want to stick with Hana, but maybe. <sighs> uh, I hope I'm I'm doing right. I'm I'm not gonna go to it. Thank you, Jesus. I clicked on it. Okay, I should go see Hana. Before meeting with Hana, I go over everything I found once more. Nothing I found has anything to do with that list we're looking for. There's not much I'll be able to tell her. On my way. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm going to start it over, you guys. Hold on. Okay. Now that I'm back here, I am going to go hang with Sumi. I didn't hang with Sumi that much, as you can see. I thought about it as I was going to go talk to Hannah. And I think I'd be better. <sighs> Uh, good stretch. Um, suited to talk to Sumi, maybe. I don't know. Um, 
I've been going over the case. I've been going over all the information that I have. And I just... <sighs> mm, my spirit is uh, is talking to me a little bit. Just, just a little bit. And I wonder what these signs mean. Because... No... Yeah, I don't know what those little ends mean, but I think I'm going to go talk to Sumi, just in case. I might sneeze, you guys. Okay? I should go see Sumi. The abandoned school. The building is surrounded by a hazy layer of ominous fog. And the vacant former playground looks just like an unwelcoming, look just as unwelcoming, excuse me, as it did on my last visit. Well, hello, Sumi. She's so pretty, Sumi. She's here as well. As I ask myself why she chooses this uninviting spot of all possible places, my attention is drawn to a large bag that's next to her. I didn't think about it too much last time, but that's actually a really heavy bag for someone like her to carry around. I wonder what she's carrying around with her. What are you looking at? Did you really think that she was just going to let you look around her and stuff and not notice that you're standing there? Oh, uh, it's nothing. It's just your bag. It looks like it's filled to the brim. These are purification tools. Ah, uh, of course. Wait, what? <laughs> Flashback of what happened. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot she danced naked all around us. Flashback of what had happened to, en to endure last time, what I had to endure last time invaded my mind, playing out <laughs> like a repressed fever dream. Oh no, naked Sumi drowning me in a mixture of water and spit is something that I had hoped to quickly forget. No chance. Would you do the same things as last time? No, something else. Something else? Sit down. Without giving me a satisfying answer. I'm sorry. It's just the way she treats him is like how you would expect not a love interest, but like a sister. And not like like a play sister to treat someone, to treat a, her older brother. That's how they kind of act towards each other. Without giving me a satisfying answer. Sumi ordered me to sit, pointing at a designated spot. With a <laughs> deliberate loud sigh. <laughs> uh, to make my frustration <laughs> for known. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. This is all funny to me. <clears throat> me. <sighs> Stop laughing. I hesitantly take my seat. Sumi pays no mind to my audible concern. And is already pulling something out of her bag. Close both your eyes and put your hands together. Oh, God. Last time we closed our eyes, Sumi, you did something that, that was inappropriate. So, I'm a little bit concerned about closing my eyes this time. Will I be repeating the same words as last time while my eyes are closed? Just sit down in reverence. In deep penance, sorry, my phone was ringing. <laughs> in deep penance, own to your impurity of your soul. I really want to know what I did that's worthy of me having to repent. But having something else, having something, <laughs> something tell me that asking Sumi will net me, <laughs> net me an answer. Excuse me, I can't read today. But I just closed my eyes and put my hands together. Oh God, what is she? Please don't get naked, Sumi. Please don't get naked. There is non-stop bombardment of strange sounds that make my imagination run wild. What the hell is she doing, to, go, trying to do this time? What's going on? I can't no longer fend off the curiosity and open my eyes a little. Whoa! What is happening? As I sit there panicking, embarrassed, plus filled with a wide variety of other emotions, Sumi approaches me. Wait, wait, wait. What? Do not move. Look at her little angry face. It's so cute. 
As soon as Sumi is close enough to me, she grabs me by the back of my neck with one hand and pressing the other hand against my forehead. Oh, I am not going to even attempt to read that at all. Um, 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 something, something, amana, something, something, pardana, something, something. Huh? She keeps repeating the words I can't make sense of and presses against my forehead to put me on a lying position. It's such a sensory overload that I can't resist. I lay down, I lie down and let her hand lead me. Oh God, I wouldn't have. See, you, he trusts Sumi too much. There is no way I'd be able to trust Sumi enough to let her lie me down on the ground because I'd feel like she'd get on top of me or something like, uh-uh. As soon as I was completely on my back, she picks up what appears to be a stick made of bamboo. Look at her. She is devious. I'm definitely, she's evil. She looks at me with, <laughs> with determined, glaring eyes. Hey, don't tell me you're going to. It hurts a little. Be strong. Uh, no. This isn't, I, I think there's been some miscommunication. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. She is smacking the fire out of us with a bamboo stick. So he starts beating me with a bamboo stick and it doesn't hold back. Arms, legs, face, balls. Oh God. Oh God. I'm so sorry. Hey, what are you doing? I desperately try to crawl away. <laughs> My survival instincts are now at full effect, especially after the last hit. <laughs> she pulls you back. <laughs> Stay, hold still. Oh God, Lord have mercy. I'm being dragged around. I already noticed this before, but her enormous strength simply doesn't match her small frame. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. It be the smallest people with such strength and they just grab hold of you or something, picking you up and stuff. And you just be, I don't know about y'all, I'd be amazed. I'd be how did, my, my little brother is probably like 105 pounds, maybe, and uh, literally picks me up. He can literally pick me up. I don't know how he does it, but I mean, it, it is, it's crazy to me. No, please. Wait a minute. Stop it. I find myself crouching and slumped over, not knowing what to do. Poor June, he's just getting beat. <laughs> at that exact moment, the vicious blow suddenly stopped. I look at Sumi with teary eyes, astonished, embarrassed, humiliated. You name it, I felt it. I feel it, excuse me, felt it. I was gonna say felt and then feel, excuse me. Sumi suddenly breaks away, well, suddenly walks away and breaks away. She's muttering one of her incantations again. Are you done? I like her little stance right here. It's so cute. Why are you on the ground? Stand up. Huh? What are you even saying? You put me on the ground in the first place. I have to finish the ceremony, so get up. Get up and pray. Oh, God. <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> If it's because of the brutal, barbaric bamboo beating or the general sense of defeat. But I find myself acting surprisingly obedient and submissive. And start to pray. Let's see. I think it's great, merciful, harmonious tree. No mischievous thoughts. Okay, so we had no bad thoughts no evil mischievous thoughts like you said you were the one that got butt naked in front of us to cleanse us or something i don't know what you were doing so you're you, if anything him as a male june as a male you giving him those bad thoughts yeah something tells me following her orders is a smart choice here i start praying vowing to <laughs> vowing to myself to do my best even though I still highly disagree with the savage way she's treated me. Great, merciful, harmonious tree. I won't fail again. I'm giving it my all, trying to suppress any thoughts 
that could potentially interfere. I hope the beating is over. Meanwhile, Sumi has been at the added the blah, 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 I can't read today. Sumi has been at it with another strange dance routine and is now kneeling down, talking to herself while blankly staring at the sky. After a while she slowly stands up. It is over. Phew. I exhale loudly and lean back. Here I was thinking the worst that could happen was an uncomfortable spit shower. <laughs> <laughs> oh no she she definitely did spit all over us but instead I have beaten into a helpless fetal position I feel pathetic I look at Sumi and have to try really hard to suppress my rising anger it's hard to tell what she's thinking but she looks strangely satisfied it's over now I have concluded the procedure. I can already sense a lot more purity coming from you. Hey, I've been wondering this ever since last time. What exactly happened to you to do blah 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 blah? What exactly happens to you while you do your thing? It is only when the shaman directly communicates with God that their wisdom reaches its peak. However, these aren't things you don't need to know. After being oddly talkative for a moment, Sumi returns to her old, much less forthcoming self. Looks like even she got a little excited herself there for a moment. All right, maybe this is my chance to have a chance at an actual conversation, but I cannot speak today. That concludes our business. Leave. Leave? That's it? Just like that? Busy bees shall not waste honey. I'm sorry, what? Honey? I, I... No answer as always. Sumi waves her hand a little without even bothering to look at me. I still find it hard to accept this cold demeanor of hers. My original plan had been... <coughs> excuse me. To talk to her about some things. The general <laughs> disinterest and my ceremony includes fatigue. <laughs> Sorry, my ceremony induced fatigue it makes me unable to even bother. I also leave the abandoned school without bothering to say goodbye. Ouch. While walking away from the school, I blatantly feel the aching pain <laughs> in my delicate areas that Sumi hit with a stick. <laughs> oh, God. His uh, tenders are hurting. Though the impact sounds made it seem more painful than it actually was, I have no doubt that this will leave some nasty bruises and hopefully people don't think you're out here doing some nasty things with those nasty bruises. I gently rub the parts that hurt the most and I start thinking about everything that just happened. She's in direct spiritual contact with a much higher being, or so she claims. In that case, there's a high probability that she plans to exercising the evil in this village that I've encountered myself. Well, I didn't think we'd see him anytime soon. Or at least, not soon, but I mean, hey cutie pie. Though, I have my doubts if any human can handle such a, that any human, excuse me, that a, uh, handle such a wicked foe I cannot read today you guys forgive me <sighs> during my demonic encounter my whole body was frozen stiff it was completely overwhelming mm. even if she was uh, has the ability to exercise evil spirits is she properly equipped to deal with the caliber of foe now, that is a good answer. I'm going to put this phone down and stop looking at it because my phone keeps vibrating on the side of me. Anyway, um, that is a good uh, question because if she could, could she save all of us? And would the other girls that are evil, if she's, if she's human, would the other girls disappear? Filled with a rising sense of anxiety, 
I look back at the direction of the abandoned school. I think of Sumi. Despite everything, she appears fragile and weak on the outside. Is it really okay to leave her alone in a place like that? I look at the school while lost in thought for a little, for a while longer. I'm gonna say for a little while longer, for a while longer. Then head towards my next destination. I don't have time to waste either. So I take it we're going back to the, to the what you call it, to the hotel. Yeah. Having finished everything on my schedule, I'm back at my room, and the sun's already setting. This is the end of the fifth day. <gasps> Jesus, that scared me. I always thought something was coming. I'm beat. In the back of the room, I move around and stretch a little to loosen up <laughs> my tired body. I've been busy walking around all day long. On top of the physical part and the mental aspect of of it all is very taxing as well. But little by little, I can tell I'm making progress. I mean, kind of. We are making progress. We find it out a lot, as you can see. Old language rejects uh, her animal sacrifices, which makes me believe that this might be her. This makes me believe that it's that it's her. And it says no specific way of killing. And I don't think we have anybody right now that brutalizes, right? Or at least we don't know of one. So I think I'm going to start marking off people as well. Uh, no, but it, she rejects it though. So this isn't her. Okay, so this can't be people. This can't be her. I'm not going to start marking off people yet. But boy, I am going to. And that's deception. The only person that we have that has deception is the undead and nothing else. So hopefully we get to uh, look around a little more maybe and like find some other stuff. I don't know. Because I feel like we're not getting enough information. But little by little. Okay. Did I read this already? No, I didn't. But little by little, I can tell my making progress. <laughs> I did make read the first part. It's like there's finally a light in this hellish maze where the exit was invisible so far. Just a little more. I mumbled to myself while cozying up under the blanket. There is n still no way to know exactly who the real human is. But if I keep working at it as hard as today, I'm sure I'll figure it out in time. I... Uh, did you work hard or did you get beat? Yes, definitely. He's sleepy. We made some progress today. Hopefully, oh wait, next day. So that means it's another murder. Yep. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I am so worried that we're going to run out of time. There's three days into this election. Literally three days. Hmm. Okay. It's morning already. It's Tuesday. My eyelids still feel incredibly heavy. I must have slept badly. I wake up stumbling. I mean, getting beat to death. Well, not to death, but getting beat and with a bamboo stick. I think it it really work you out. I wake up, stumble around a little, and check my phone. Three days into the selection, I expected this mesh message, meshish, Jesus. What's more important today is where the murder site is located. Hmm? I grab my phone and wait for a while, but I don't receive any other text messages. Phew. I let out a relief sigh. Looks like there's no, <laughs> no, no, no. When they say that, then watch it. Look, look. Huh. I thought it was going to be like, oh, yeah, see, <sighs> there's nothing today. And then zzz, it is going to pop up. I feel a little better and toss my phone on the blanket. I make plans to in my head about what I have to do today. I mull it over quite carefully. 
I don't think there's a lot I can do currently. Excuse me. I have to meet with a with the woman who's most likely to be human to establish a bond of trust. And I obviously have to scour around for evidence. I I really wish they would let me go look for evidence first. The time to draw my conclusions about the culprits draw near. So today's search will be very important. If I have some time left over in the evening, I should focus on building up more trust once again. All right. First things first. I think I've earned a little more sleep. I don't think you earned a little more sleep. Okay. I mean, if you think you did, you, you do. Glad they didn't make me talk to that guy. After a couple of more hours of sleep, I get up and leave the motel. <sighs> My mind seems a lot clearer. Looks like sleep was well, it's all I needed. Yeah, and to get out of this town, I guess. I breathe in the dewy air. No matter how horrible this village is, I can't deny that the morning air is highly refreshing. Time for my date soon. I make calculations in my head about how much time remains. I also think about who's more likely to be human. With my thoughts in order, I continue with, first of all, I have to go to that person. Um, <laughs> I, I have no clue. I don't have enough information. Okay, so I'll do this. Uh, one of the cases was at the river. Absolutely. Let's go here. But it was a deception and not. Yeah, it was deception. So I'm going to rule this not her. This is not the witch. At all. One of the other cases was a fear case. And I don't have any other fears. I don't think I have two deceptions, right? Nope, I only have one deception. And I haven't gotten anything on the fox spirit. One deception and one fear. But it was at a school. It was a fear, but it was at a school. And it says location, forest, and river, so... And it says, info marked blue indicates there's no evidence available for it. Okay. And she's the only one with something marked blue. I think what I'm going to do. Because I don't have anything on the fox spirit to even pinpoint it on her. I do have some stuff on the witch. So it could be the witch. I'm so lost. You know what? I'll do it like this. I'm going to stop right here. And I guess I'll figure out who I'm going to go visit. But in the meantime, I want you guys to stay safe. Stay away from abandoned schools and stuff and abandoned places. And I don't know. Peace and love. Peace and love.